Die fysiekanselie van die Noordwest Universiteit, Professor Dan Gwadi, sluit nou by ons aan. If there is already so much uh, diversity within Afrikaans as a language group, since it's not just one race and it's not just one culture, why would an Afrikaans, an exclusively Afrikaans university not be sufficiently diverse and transformed? It will be really uh, disadvantageous as one would have an exclusively male university or a woman university mm. only. Diversity in all respects is important, not only in terms of, 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 of a, you know, race, but also in terms of cultures and other things. So mm. it is very important that a university must be diversified because in its own, by implication, it might end up having connotations of, of, of proxy for race. So it's very important to have a university being as diverse as possible in terms of gender, race, yeah. disability, and all you can mention. But census <coughs> proved that Afrikaans is not a proxy for race because more than half of Afrikaans speakers are not necessarily white. Exactly, but now you see what happens in terms of the participation rate at the universities, at mm -hmm. tertiary. The, 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 the states have indicated that the non African the non Afrikaner speakers of Afrikaans I have got a very low participation rate at tertiary institutions. Could an Afrikaans language university not strive for a great quality in, in, in terms of teaching excellence? No, I, I, I don't think here it's, it's just quality we're talking about. Okay. We're talking about the experience, the kind of a product that comes out of an institution of mm. higher learning. And how ready is that product? Uh, ready to go and operate in a diverse world because the world is not homogenous out there. And I think that's, those are some of the factors one needs to, to needs consider. To keep in mind, if a, a few years down the line um, the, this model has been accepted and you know, the, the necessary transformation has taken place, mm -hmm. um, and a few years down the line uh, these students who feel like environment and culture and identity and the Afrikaans language being uh, absolutely preserved, has fallen by the wayside and they stop enrolling in droves. It is a business. Mm -hmm. What then? Uh, I, I would be very careful to say you can position the university on the basis of anything other than or predominantly on the basis of things that are not part of the core business. So your quality, the kind of a product that you are delivering must be the first you know, thing that attracts the student to the university. The issues that I've talked about, you know, in terms of culture and the ones you are mentioning, you know, language issues, are also very important in terms of how you create an environment that is conducive to the client for the quality education that they must first be attracted to. Yeah. Um, I've read and, and heard about offering bursaries to students on, a, on, on the three campuses to try and um, also get these campuses and their, their, their student bodies to reflect uh, the variety and the diversity mm -hmm. and the transformation that is the goal of the university. Um, but is, th does that not amount to window dressing? If the quality and the, and the teaching excellence is there, will people not from all races go there to study there automatically? I must say, because I also started with that at Mafeking, yeah. giving bursaries for poor white students mm. to come and study at Mafeking as a way of opening access and also just to deal with the uh, stereotypes mm. that were there to say perhaps Mafeking is a black-only university or campus. So obviously the, the issues that I got was poor white students. What does that mean? You know, sometimes we black people tend to think poverty is our monopoly. Mm. But it was clear out of that practice that the current increasing numbers of the white students at Mafike came as a result of that. And not all of them now are even on bursaries. They are now self-paying students mm -hmm. that are uh, at Mafike as a result of that. Uh, there are some questions, and, and this was something that's been raised on Twitter as well, and, and it might be a scare tactic, the unitary model, mm -hmm. and how far it stretches, practically speaking, beyond the classroom. Because, for example, all three of the campuses have their own radio stations. Mm -hmm. The Pochestron campus has its rugby team, and I know that from engaging with people at the University of KwaZulu-Natal, where they have more than one campus as well, and they're trying to run a Varsity Shield rugby team across mm -hmm. two campuses, the cost, in terms of time, in terms of money, mm -hmm. logistically 
broadly speaking, makes mm. it really hard socially for, for the different campuses to, to attain the necessary cohesion to mm. compete under one banner. Mm. Yeah, I think if unitary is stretched to that, that is overstretching it. We're talking about unitary in the sense of sameness of knowledge, mm -hmm. in terms of the unity of standards and unity of quality. Mm -hmm. That, I think, matters the most because that is what determines the product that comes out of a university. We want a unitary product, mm -hmm. not a product that is different in terms of the campus that they, that they came from. There seems to be a bit of a trust deficit if, if, you, if you look at the standing back from it, it mm. feels like there's a, a, an immense amount of distrust mm. and that communication at points have been lacking in this progress and process where people feel left behind or the fear of exclusion seems, seems to be rife. Mm -hmm. um, could all the steps of the process have been communicated better or do you think that no matter how many times you communicate this, it doesn't seem to be believed and that mm. the trust is lacking? Yeah, you're right. You got it right there because the issue here... Uh, you can never over communicate, and I don't think we should even say you know we can d do it uh, better. We we keep on we have to keep on improving on that. But the issue here is trust, and trust is end. And I must also say because of our history as a country, there are more reasons to have trust issues than we can even try and preach about. Mm -hmm. So it's something that with time it will just address itself. But of course, yes, trust is end. How do you earn it? going forward? What are your plans to earn the trust? Yeah, firstly, I think uh, one bona fide will be proven with time mm. and people will, try, will really realize that all is intended for the good benefit of the university. Mm. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Professor. Thank you. Dedan Dan Kwadi, the Vice-Chancellor of the Noordwest Universiteit.